Hi, my name is Shyler. I am going to. I am from the band Undefined Instinct. Undefined Instinct. Um. Uh, UDI as we're known. Um. I'm going to teach you how to play Have Faith in Me by a date to remember. So, first thing you want to do is get to your electric guitar and. Well, you can play this on the acoustic too, it doesn't really matter. So. Um, but I'm using electric. But first you want to have two settings, at least. You want to have a softer one, and then a more rockier one. The rock one I mean by, like, distorted. So yeah, something like that. Um, First, you want to use a soft one first, so one second. See, that's more mellow uh, tone to it. Uh, first of all, you want to take your index finger, bar the 7th fret, but only bar the uh, G and B string. And then set your ring finger, or I mean your middle finger, sorry, your middle finger, on the 8th fret of the B string. Uh, and then your pinky finger you want it on the ninth, on the 10th fret of the B string. So there will be three fingers on the same string, if you can see that. Now you just want to play the G and B string the whole intro. So the pinky hat is on first. So keep your fingers in this position the whole time in the intro. And then just release them as as we go. So it's so you okay. So it'll be the seventh and ninth. I mean seventh and tenth first. You go that eight, do that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then, then move your pinky off and go to this position. I mean, just just move your pinky off since you'll already have your middle finger on the eighth fret of the B string. You need to just re remove your pinky, and that'll work. And then play play uh, the G and B string. Each individually, by the way. So then go to the eighth, eighth um, fret on the B string and G, and seventh fret on the G string, and play that four times. Then move your finger off and play that four times, and back up to the top. So what we have so far is. Play it up to speed, it should sound like this. Okay, you want to play that like. You want to play that intro like four times, I think. That's just a guess. Um, and then comes the other part of the intro. I mean, here get, uh, comes the yeah the other part of the intro, which you have to switch your tuning to. Um, uh, well, you don't have to, but it is recommended by me. Um, switch your tuning to a uh, more distorted one, which should sound like something like this. So now what you want to do is you want to bar the first three strings on the ninth fret 
by the way, we are in drop detuning. Um, we are the first three strings on the ninth fret. So the E, A, and D string, and put and bar them on the ninth fret. So it should, and then play that twice. So it should be. That's. And then down to the then just open twice. Then you go to the fifth fret twice. Then to the second twice. Then to the fifth again twice. Then to the ninth twice again. And then that it just re repeats that. So here's what we got so far. Okay. So far, okay. Now you repeat that again, but this time you go twice, ninth fret twice, then to open again twice, fifth again twice, then tw second again twice. Oh no, I mean just second eight times. No, oh, four times I mean. It's the second fret tw four times. Then you move to the fifth fret four times. Then you just go back to the beginning. So I'll show you what we have so far. Here we go. From the, from the top. Strum this eight times. The ninth fret eight times. Then so it's just the same as the intro. So no, okay. play just uh, the intro part again so the so that part again uh, but you want to strum each one eight times so each each uh, thing eight times so it will make sense and you have to go one right after the other, no, like barely any break at all. So, eight times. So, ninth, eight times. Then open eight times. Then the fifth fret eight, five, eight times. Then, um, then the second four times. Then the fifth four times. Then back to the beginning. Then you want to go back to the ninth fret and go. Uh, it's sort of this pattern. It's. 